Hey guys, I hope you're doing very well. In today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different, something kind of out of character. Well, I basically just have never done anything like this before. I just wanna do a quick background on myself in case someone new stumbles across this video that is a fan of someone that I'm about to talk about, or maybe you're new to this channel, or you haven't been here that long so you don't know much about me. I have been making videos for two and a half years now. Um, I'm just a small little creator. I'm not a big deal or anything like that, but anyway. Hi. My name's Lauren, I am a complete and utter tattoo obsessed person, I pretty much like eat, drink, sleep tattoos, I'm always looking at tattoos on Instagram and I'm always planning my next tattoos, I'm always just, oh, I don't know, I just love tattoos basically, I first started getting tattooed when I was 17, um, there's a whole story to my whole tattoo journey, I have a video called my 10 year tattoo anniversary where I pretty much talk about everything about my tattoo history um, so I'll leave a link down below to that if you're interested in my tattoo story I basically just make videos about tattoos so this isn't my first ever video calling someone out when it comes to tattoos I've been here a while so I know I might get a few comments um, like oh you don't know anything or this video is shit I've been doing this for a while and I have been obsessed with tattoos for over 10 years now so this is basically my hobby so yeah that is just the background on me I'm pretty much like not covered in tattoos but a good percentage of my body is tattooed so I've been there I've done that um, and I will carry on doing that um so yeah I'm gonna do a different style of video like I was saying I normally do videos about tattoos and like tattoo tips and talking about tattoos and literally there is so much you could talk about when it comes to tattoos you might not think so but there is so much, you can just look through my videos. But again, if you've been here for a while, sorry for rambling and you already know this stuff. I'm gonna talk about a YouTuber that goes by the name of Simply Nessa 15 She's pretty much like an OG YouTuber, I'd say. She's been around for a very long time, way before I started. Um, she, I think she started off by doing like makeup videos. I think a lot of people start off that way. I don't know, maybe not. But she started off with makeup videos and she kind of transi transitioned into like story time videos. She was probably one of the YouTubers that made story time videos very, very popular. So, you know, she's made a name for herself type thing and she's done very, very well for herself. I will throw it out here. This video isn't to bash her personally. It's not to bring her down. It's to educate her and educate maybe her viewers or maybe you guys that watch her just talk about stuff that you might not know about that she said that's either wrong um, she did say one or two good points uh, which I will talk about as well I'm not going to just bash 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 <laughs> um, you know you got to give credit where credit is due but she herself has a handful of tattoos I'm not sure how many in total I believe it's around about five to eight tattoos again this is for educational purposes this isn't to drag anyone down this video is probably gonna be a mixture of like h3 h3 versus freely the banana girl <laughs> even though i'm not a nazi like freely well i mean i can be when it comes to tattoos but you know i'm not i'm not gonna be an arsehole about it at least i'm gonna try not to be an arsehole like sometimes my mouth just runs with it you know Okay, so, I'm going to talk about a video that she uploaded about one or two months ago, I'm not entirely sure, but I remember watching it because anytime a YouTuber uploads like a tattoo tour type thing or a tattoo video, I'm very intrigued, I want to know, I want to see what they're talking about, I want to see their tattoos, I'm very, very nosy. Um, it's just coming from a place of curiosity and being a tattoo fan, you know? Um, so when I watched it, there's a few bits within the video that made me cringe like hardcore cringe I was like oh my god she has such a big following and she's telling all these impressionable young people that probably want tattoos in the future you know these things and it was just making my it was making my insides hurt a little bit I was just like oh girl no 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 just, just like Shh. oh my god stop and obviously so many people have watched that video and then they've heard these things from someone that they look up to and they follow and because she has you know, a nice handful of tattoos, they're going to believe what she's saying. I would as well. When I was younger, um, there was no tattoo information out there for me at all. Like, I'm I'm not ancient, I'm 27 years old, but um, when I first started getting tattooed in 2007, there was obviously the internet, but I didn't know you could research stuff to do with tattoos back then, and obviously Instagram wasn't around, and what have you, I couldn't you know, browse tattoo artists and what have you, it just wasn't a thing. So now that there is so much information available out there and there's people out there with a big following and then they start telling people bad information about tattoos, it's just like, ah, oh, stop, like, <laughs> you're gonna make this place better. <laughs> you're gonna make life easier for um, people, but it's sometimes not the case. 
back to her video. I'm gonna play this clip for you guys, but she basically talks about her first tattoo. This is the first tattoo that I ever got. This is a dream catcher, a very obnoxious dream catcher. But that is the first first. That is the first tattoo that I ever got. I was 17 years old. I popped up, I signed the consent form and everything, and they were like, Can we see your ID? And I was like, Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew I was I knew. I was like, I'm not 18. I know I'm gonna get in trouble. Here you go, being all confident, and they're like you just turned 17. Um, so, because I was not about to be embarrassed and I was not about to be, you know, humiliated. I called my mom because my mom's a cool ass bitch and I was like, yo mama, I wanna get a tattoo. Can you come and sign this form for me? My mom was like, what? You're trying to get a tattoo? And after talking to her for about 30 seconds, she was like, fine. She got her first tattoo at the age of 17 and she said that she got her mum's permission for this tattoo. Now red flags went off for me because here in England you have to be 18 years and over, there's no way around that. And if you go to a studio that tattoos you underage then you're in a bad place. So I had to google the Arizona tattoo laws, just make sure that what she had done was legal and it was legal. And I've got it on my phone here as always because I can't hold information. It says if you're a minor in Arizona we have good news. If you want a tattoo under Arizona's tattooing law persons between the age of 14 and 17 may receive a tattoo as long as the person's parent or legal guardian is present when procedure takes place um the reason I got it is because I was in love with Miley Cyrus at the time and she had the dream catcher tattoo on her body as well this is something that I wish I didn't have on my body but when I, I honestly forget about it I don't wake up in the morning like <gasps> But I definitely wish I didn't. So yeah, she actually regrets the tattoo because the reason she got it was because Miley Cyrus had the tattoo and she wanted the tattoo and she doesn't like it anymore. I mean, we've all been there, that's for sure. I have a handful of tattoos I don't like anymore because I got them when I was younger and I didn't really think them through too much. But this is the big thing I stress about getting the same tattoo as a celebrity. In my opinion, you just shouldn't do it because one, that's someone else's tattoo. Like, that's someone else's tattoo right there. And you have it on your body. You know, sometimes you won't like that celebrity anymore. Maybe she still likes Miley Cyrus. There's nothing wrong with Miley Cyrus. Um, I think she's a pretty cool girl, but it is quite a red flag area. Just think of your own tattoo designs. You can get inspired by celebrities' tattoos, like without a doubt. When you start going into the territory of getting like the exact same thing on the exact same body part, it's kind of like a red flag. It's just like, whoa. So just think about your tattoo choices. And like I said, it's fine to get inspiration, but you may end up in the same situation that Nessa has been in where she's like, I don't like this anymore. And it's quite a big tattoo. It takes up like most of her ribs. So it's not like a small little one where you can either, you know, have a cover up. It's quite a big one. I mean, you can still have a cover up and you could still go over it or have laser sessions, but it's just going to be a big ordeal. For the third tattoo that I got, I got this in Arizona as well. And it is a cross. Some people are like, OMG, it's upside down. Say it! Okay, so she said about the upside down cross being Illuminati, Satan, whatever she said. That's not actually the case. Um, the upside down cross is a whole other meaning. I've got the actual meaning here. I remember learning about this in college. It's probably the only thing that I remember learning from college. I did media, but my um, but one of my tutors was adamant about saying the upside down cross doesn't mean the devil or Satan. Basically what it means, I've got it written down here because again I can't hold information. Its origins begin with Saint Saint Simon Peter, one of the twelve ops ops <laughs> yeah. Of Jesus Christ, Saint Peter was crucified upside down as a sign of humil humility that he was not worthy of the same death as Jesus. That's all it means. But now people see it as a symbol of the devil or what have you, but that's not the case. Um, that's a fun fact for you. So that's the origins of an upside down cross. It was just someone being crucified, but not the same way as Jesus, because they were not worthy. <laughs> but that's more of a statement to stick up for her and say, yeah, it's, it's not a bad thing. But she got her cross that way round. So, you know, it's down this way, as in, you know, it's facing downwards like, my um, tattoos here is facing that way, but to her it looks upside down type thing and people think it's, you know, to do with Satan. Originally I found a very basic tattoo that looked similar to this online and I was like, let's change it up, let's do different things to it so it can be my own. So we ended up adding all those little things and then there's like some little moons and stuff going around. So that was kind of important because she said she wanted to change up a tattoo. Now just keep this information in mind, keep this clip in mind because I'm going to talk about something to do with this clip in a little while. But what she said there about changing up a tattoo 
tattooing and she wanted her tattoo to be her own thing completely fine that's, that's the way it should be that's the way you should do it yeah tattoos are expensive if you go to somebody that does tattoos and they're like i'll do it for 10 bucks you get what you pay for remember that if they're offering to do a full sleeve for sixty dollars I would suggest you kind of ask who else they tattooed and see their wear first. The tattoos are expensive, so don't go in there like, I want my full arm done for a hundred bucks, because they're going to laugh and tell you to leave. I've always had this kind of saying that good tattoos aren't cheap and cheap tattoos aren't good. For the most part, for custom designed big pieces like a sleeve, like a back piece, that is pretty much the case. Don't go to someone who offers a huge back piece to you for £60. It's just not, it's not worth it. You're going to end up with something horrific. And it's not worth it, like, the pain of correcting it and getting a cover-up or um, having it lasered off. In the long run, it's going to be more expensive. So it's better to invest in a good tattoo artist to get something decent, you know? I've spent a lot of money on tattoos and it's not to brag. Like, when you spend a lot of money on tattoos, it's literally not to brag. You're not like, oh, I spent, you know, like over a thousand pound on my sleeve oh my god i'm like so much better than everyone else it's not that at all it's to do with getting good artwork it's not to brag it's not like dick measuring you know um it's literally you want to spend money to get a good piece and that's not always the case i have a couple of you know cheap tattoos that aren't actually that bad um when i say cheap i'm talking like a hundred pound 150 pound going into like 200 they're still pretty good. You've just got to look at the artist's portfolio on Instagram or wherever it is and judge for yourself. I've got plenty of videos that will be able to help you on picking a tattoo artist and what makes a good sort of traditional tattoo and stuff like that. You've just got to do your research. But long story short, if a tattoo artist is willing to charge you just like £50 for a sleeve, it's just don't do it. So Nessa's advice there was completely stellar. She's not talking out of her ass. Okay, so this was actually the clip that made me cringe the most from this video. I'm gonna play it now. And if you know me, you'll know why it made me cringe. <laughs> but I actually saw this on Tumblr and I also saw it on this Canadian tattoo artist um, Instagram page. And I was like, that is so cool, but I'm not flying to Canada for him to tattoo this on me. So I found somebody in Studio City, California and he recreated it for me. Now it's not perfect, but it's also not bad either. So I'm satisfied with it and that's all that matters. So what Nessa said is she saw a tattoo on Tumblr and she found out the tattoo artist was originally from Canada. When I saw the tattoo, I kind of instantly knew who she was talking about. I could be wrong. There's a slim chance I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure the tattoo artist she's on about was Kurt Montgomery. Kurt is known for, oh my God, like the cleanest line work and the simplest of tattoos, but they're all very custom. You won't really see, you know, the same Kurt Montgomery tattoo twice. Like he mixes it up. Some of them are kind of dirty. Some of them are very simple and clean and elegant and some are girly. Like. He is a fantastic tattoo artist. He's very good at what he does. The tattoo that she got does look like a Kurt Montgomery tattoo. She said the artist was from Canada. Kurt's from Canada. So I could be wrong. If anyone knows any different, let me know, but I'm pretty sure. Her tattoo that she copied is a Kurt Montgomery tattoo. Um, but yeah, she said she got another artist to do the tattoo. And that is just something you do not do. You do not take an image from Google, from Tumblr, from Pinterest, from Instagram and say to another artist, I want this tattoo and do nothing to change it. Now, if we remember back from a previous clip where she said she wanted to change up a tattoo and make it her own, um, where did that go? <laughs> where did that mentality go for this tattoo? I know how tempting it is when you see a tattoo on someone else or on the internet and you really, really like it and you really, really love it and you really, really want it. Um, I know it's tempting, like, it kills me every day when I see a custom drawn tattoo from one of my favourite artists and I'm just like, oh my god, I wish that was on me, like, it's fantastic, it's amazing, but you just gotta let it go, like, there's so many more possibilities out there. So this was a very big red flag for me and this is a huge thing in the tattoo community. I'm gonna insert a clip from a newish YouTuber, her name is Electric Linda, she's an actual tattoo artist and she makes very good inform informational, informal informational I don't know which word it is but she makes very good videos on tattoos um I love her work also she's quite a talented tattoo artist so I'm going to insert a clip now about tattoo copying and it just nailed it like she nails it and this is the words out of a tattoo artist's mouth so I'm not talking shit about tattoo copying here it's an actual thing do not do it and you have the ones that are expecting that you will actually tattoo another artist's work no we do not do that a good tattoo artist will not copy 
a tattoo. We can get inspired from this tattoo and we will do something similar because that's what you want, but we will make it the way we want. We're artists, not copy machines. So if you go to a tattoo artist and they're willing to copy a tattoo like word for word or image for image, like get out of there. They do not respect the industry that they are in. Um, I just wouldn't recommend any tattoo artist that does that. Not at all. And to steal like a very well respected tattoo artist like Kurt Montgomery, it's just like why, why would you do that to your fellow tattoo artist? You know, you may not be in the same country, you might, you may not be in the same state, you may not even be on the same continent, but you just don't do that. It's not, it's not cool. Now moving on to the one in the middle, this one and this one that I'm going to show you were also done by the person that did this tattoo. So um, this tattoo is just a moon because I think the moon is beautiful. I think it's a cute girl. So I wanted to get this done. And as you can see in the middle, there is a little bit of a scar. I got this done from pink to purple. And the reason there's a scar is because right after I got the tattoo done, you're supposed to keep the little plastic thing on there for a while. You're supposed to be very careful, very gentle. But I have it on my hand, so it's not going to be that easy to be, you know, delicate and, you know, careful with my hands when I need to use them. So I cut a corner really fast. I'm not sure how it happened, but I cut a corner and I managed to scrape all the skin up and I had to wait till it healed and you had to go over it and do it again. It was very disgusting. So please be very careful when you get tattoos. Be very cautious of that area because the skin, it becomes very thin at the top, I feel like, and it puffs up a little bit. So it's very easy. Like if you were to get a tattoo and go like that with your nail, you would scrape all your skin off because it's very sensitive and it's very just delicate at the moment. Now if I do that, the shit ain't coming off, it's stuck. But at the moment it scraped the skin up, so I needed to wait till it healed and he went over it again because I still wanted that tattoo. And this was another one that made me cringe inside. It's not really correct information, I would say. Yes, your skin is delicate when you, when you get a tattoo on that area of your skin, but it doesn't make it so delicate that your skin turns to butter and it just scrapes off. Like, the way she described it made it sound like she kind of just like scratched her finger a little bit and then the whole of her skin fell off and it just exposed muscle and bone. Um, that's not really the case, like yes, your skin is going to be tender and it's going to be a little bit fragile and if you do nick it, it's going to hurt and you could affect the tattoo without a doubt. You'll probably need a touch up but it doesn't turn your skin to butter, like your skin just doesn't fall off at the touch of it, you know? Um, so that was another bit of misinformation that made me go, oh, oh god girl, like no. Okay, so that was all the clips from her video that I wanted to talk about and just help with information and talk about, you know, the correct information. I know this has been quite a different video for me, for my, you know, normal subscribers. Um, let me know if you guys like this video, if you've got any videos that you'd like me to sort of react to, if there's any YouTubers you've seen talk badly about tattoos or um, been spreading like misinformation or fake news about tattoos then let me know and I might be able to make a video um, reacting to that or help give the correct advice. So yeah I think that's it for today's video. I hope you guys are all doing very very well and until my next video bye.